John 14. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may also be. You know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and still you do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. And that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us? and not to the world. Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give you, let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to my Father, for the Father is greater than I. And I have told you before, it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me. I do, as the Father commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Okay, arise. Let us go from here. This chapter is crazy, man. Welcome to the Trinity. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Such a beautiful passage. I love John so much, and I just love 
I love how beautifully simple theology is here. That the Father is in the Son. The Son is in the Spirit. The Father sends the Spirit in the name of the Son. And that they all will dwell in us and make us their home. And just like the Father is in the Son and the Son is in the Father, somehow that works because you think of a cookie jar, right? You put the cookie in the jar. You can't put the jar in the cookie. But somehow the Father is in the Son and the Son is in the Father and then they're in us and we're in the world but not of the world. It's beautiful. And we're brought into that Trinitarian relationship through Jesus Christ who is the way, the truth, and the life. I love how Philip says, Lord, where? Where are you going? And Jesus says, it's not that important. You know the way. Philip says, we don't know the way. He says, yes, you do. I am the way. Follow me. Keep my commandments. If you keep my commandments, you love me. Just like I've kept my Father's commandments, and I love him. Wow. And what is that commandment? Love one another as I have loved you. Beautiful chapter.